Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, I'm making another YouTube video. It's been a while, but... <clears throat> I'm talking about the whole Kawhi Leonard situation <laughs> and the teams that I think he should... The, the Spurs should trade him to based on his demands. Obviously, he doesn't have much of a choice in where he goes, but he kind of dictates what kind of teams will be making trades for him. Because say he like he doesn't want to go to any small market teams. Like his team wants him to be more well known. They want him to be in a market like LA or New York. So those are the type of teams that are going to trade for him because they are almost 100% sure that if they trade for him, he'll resign. So now Kawhi Leonard uh, did say he would go to either LA team and resign with them. Most likely, he would prefer the Lakers, but if he did get traded to the Clippers, it would still be Los Angeles, so he would most likely still resign. And uh, I think this trade isn't as likely to happen as some of the other ones, but it definitely could. The Los Angeles Clippers have a lot of, like, okay players, but not, like, a lot of good guys. So if they had, like, that one superstar player... That could lead them back into the playoffs where they want to be. <clears throat> Instead of just a bunch of, like, you know, good role players. And they have, the like, the young assets, like a Tobias Harris and, like, a an Avery Bradley or something. If they were able to re-sign those guys and then trade them to the Spurs for Kawhi Leonard. Or, you know, maybe they could, if the Spurs would be interested in, like, a DeAndre Jordan and, like, the 12th and 13th picks or, you know, something like that. This one, the reason why I think it's the least likely to happen is because they have trade assets, but, like, I don't know. They're not really the assets that the Spurs would want. Like, the Clippers could give you guys that could help you win now, but if you're trading your superstar, you might as well just go all in on, like, you know, rebuilding. So... Yeah, the Clippers are probably, like, the least likely to happen, but I just put them on here. Now, I think the Philadelphia 76ers are a great option. They're the type of big market that would give Kawhi Leonard the exposure that he wants. And they have the young assets to trade for him that the Spurs would want, like a, a Markel Fultz and, you know, maybe like a McCall Bridges, whoever they take with the 10th pick. And they have the young core that could you know like this year in the playoffs they had like that really good young duo of Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid and stuff but like they didn't have that one like that guy who gives that superstar who just be clutch and like close out games for them you know like Kawhi Leonard would give them that veteran closer presence that they needed in the playoffs uh he could lead this young core you know be kind of like a a role model, I guess, for the young players. And, you know, uh, I think they'd be the favorite to come out of the East next year if they got Kawhi, short and simple. And, you know, uh, they'd definitely be able to compete with Boston now if they had a superstar like a Kawhi Leonard teamed up with, you know, bet you could have Ben Simmons at the point, uh, <clears throat> JJ Redick at the two, Kawhi at the three, and then you could keep Dario Saric if you don't trade him to the Spurs. You could keep him at the four. And then obviously have Joel Embiid at the five. And, you know, that not only looks like something that could compete, you know, with, like, the Bostons and the, the Cavaliers if LeBron stays. But that's something that could maybe even take the Warriors to six or seven games. Now, the Los Angeles Lakers obviously are the favorite to land Kawhi Leonard. Um... You know, uh, the San Antonio's are kind of hesitant to give Kawhi Leonard up to a, you know, Western Conference team because they don't want their own conference to be strong because it would weaken their chances to make the finals. But, I mean, the Lakers definitely have the trade assets that not a lot of the other teams do. Like, they have the young players like a, a Brandon Ingram and a Kyle Kuzma. And then maybe to make the money work, you throw like a, I don't know, like a Luol Deng in there or something. And then that could easily be, you know, your two building blocks for the future for the Spurs. 
and then the Lakers, they get Kawhi Leonard, and then immediately that will attract other superstars like, you know, uh, Paul George and DeMarcus Cousins and maybe even LeBron, and it could attract them to sign with L.A. Because then you could easily make a, a team that could dethrone the Warriors. And, you know, Kawhi obviously wants to go to L.A., so you'd have the reassurance that he'd re-sign with you. Now, this is the team that I personally want to trade for Kawhi Leonard, and I actually think they have the best chance of getting him, because not only do they have the young trade assets, they also are in the Eastern Conference, and the Spurs, you know, they don't want to strengthen their own conference, so they'd probably prefer to you give Kawhi Leonard up to someone in the East. And also, they have probably better young trade assets than the uh, Lakers do. They have, like, you know, uh, Terry Rozier and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Obviously, they wouldn't throw all of those guys in, but maybe if you had, like, a package of, you know, Jalen Brown and, like, your the Kings pick next year because the Celtics do have Sacramento's first-round pick next year, which will probably be top five, top ten, probably, in the lottery. <laughs> Unless... Sacramento goes out and signs some big free agent, which is almost a 0% chance of happening. So you're almost guaranteed a lottery pick. And then you could also get, like, a, you know, a Terry Rozier, like a young point guard that you can build around. You can get, like, a Jalen Brown, who's most certainly a future all-star. And, you know, uh, I don't quite know who, sh who they should throw in to make the money work, but... You know, they could figure something out. And I think the Spurs might have a little bit of cap. And, you know, I think Kawhi would definitely re-sign with Boston. Because they'd obviously be the favorites to make the finals, if not win it. Because of all the talent they have. And under the coaching of Brad Stevens, like... If Brad Stevens could get, you know, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and Al Horford, he got them to the conference finals, you know, without Kyrie and Hayward. Imagine what he'd be able to do with a full, healthy, you know, Kyrie Irving. And then maybe you put Gordon Hayward at shooting guard, Kawhi Leonard at small forward, Jason Tatum at the four to be like, I don't know, kind of be like a small ball lineup, I guess. And then you could have Al Horford at the five. I think that could definitely not only has they have the defensive capabilities of pairing up with the Warriors, but they also have, you know, the scoring options and the shooters. And I really think this team could definitely take the Warriors to six or seven games. And if not, win. So thanks for watching. And uh, those are who I think should trade for Kawhi Leonard and who who would give San Antonio the best trade packages.